So then I think we'll we'll get started. So the first session we would be talking about is so we'll we'll explore all the different studios a bit, right? And then we we will start creating our own Pega application. Okay. Okay. So we'll yeah. see how, how you start with creating the application. Probably you might have been aware of this already, but maybe the first session to take up is. Will we will create an application and we will be using it throughout the uh, you know the rest of the course going forward for implementing all the aspects. Okay. okay. Right. Yeah. Right. So when it comes to Pygas Studios, right? So earlier uh, when Pyga was in 7.4 version, we did not have these studios and all. It was just like we, we had an app express and we, we had some designer studio. That's all what we have got. But now we, we have four different studios specifically designed for different set of people. It's designated for a different set of people wherein each studio is for a specific purpose. Okay. Can you name those studios? Uh, yes, we have App Studio, Dev Studio, uh, Admin Studio, and Prediction Studio. Exactly, perfect. So we have App, Dev, Admin, and Prediction Studios. Each one of it is designated for a specific set of people. Right? So App Studio yes. is where you can work on the accelerated application development. So it could be BAs or it could be even a normal uh, application developers also can work on the App Studio. So the major focus is for an accelerated application development. So you can build your application skeleton or a high level picture of the application can be designed from the App Studio. Right? And then who works on it is your the major focus is for the business analysts. Okay. And of course, we, we cannot let the business analyst handle every complex scenario. Right. So that's where our Dev Studio comes into picture to deal with the complex set of requirements. Your security related aspects, versioning, teamed uh, collaborations, source control. So everything what is beyond the business analyst would be available on the Dev Studio. So we developers, we will be working on the Dev Studio. Okay. And then we have yeah. admin studio for the system administrators. To look after the background processing, the batch jobs, the node management. So these sort of things are taken care of the admin studio. Okay. And then the last one, prediction studio, is designed for the data scientists and data analysts. People who are inclined to work with data. Okay. So they would be a part of your prediction studio where you can build the adaptive predictive models and you can just play around with the data so okay right like app studio we know you can design your uh, case types right you can define the slas too you can define uh, you can create channels you can design how your application needs to look like right so on the app studio you can quickly design your application the high level skeleton you can get it reviewed from the product owners directly right. yes. and you can estimate your project requirements you can you know uh, you you have a lot of other options as well as in how you how you would manage the project so those things are a part of your app studio right. and like we know the Dev Studio focuses on the complex and advanced functionality where you deal with uh, the complex rule forms here. Okay. On the App Studio, you can only, uh, you know, uh, you can only implement an SL in it when you can apply it. But in order to work on the rule, you have to come back to the Dev Studio. Okay. So things like your uh, other aspects, like your skin rules and all. So those are specific for your dev studios. 
like i said branched development versioning source control so all these are part of the dev studio and then admin studio to look after the deployments batch processing agents queues so now we have uh, you know, job schedulers and queue processes replacing our agents so all those can be handled from the admin studio right so we will also be looking at the admin studio for few sessions where it involves uh, schedulers agents and sort of stuff yeah. okay and finally where you can build in your own set of models text categorization extraction models you can build them also if required you can build your model in any other language you can also uh, have them implemented in pekka using the pmml model type i mean again this is exclusively for the uh, data scientists and all so we until unless your application is involving some ai flavors we wouldn't need to work on the prediction studio okay right. so i think yes as you already know these are the new studios and designated for the respective set of people okay. 